Kariong has a fascinating history and it uh, started with some very early pioneers that came down from the north actually and um, we were settled from the north early on when there was a drought up north and so they started coming uh, through the Monaro, the Shelley brothers came across here um, 1837, um, Sydney Grandison Watson followed not long after and over a few years managed to snap up quite a few runs around this area including Corriong. Some of the early pioneers were um, workers for Sydney Watson and um, the name Tommy Waters is, is one of those descendants, definitely. Um, the Wheelers and the Whiteheads um, came from also from south of Sydney, drove in cattle, um, found land here in the same sort of era. They were more on the Kajiwar side. So the township of Koryong um, was more settled once the Duffy Land Act in the 1860s came into being and suddenly selectors could choose land and pay a pound an acre for it. So there was a group came up from the gold diggings in Beechworth and that was the Keels, the Harrises and the Briggs families and they were the first that started selecting around the township of Coryong. The first post office and town shop was opened in the 18, early 1870s and not long after that a school was built and that was all on land that was owned by the Watsons and eventually that became all part of Coryong Township. That building was moved to the corner where the milk bar is today and the school is still in the original site. So a lot of the pioneers started off um, building small huts. Um, they were just log, log hut construction mainly, two rooms. Um, this Jarvis cottage is a classic example of that with a bedroom in one room and a kitchen, lounge, everything else in the other room. Um, the family, you know, kids were just end to end, eight in a bed, whatever fitted. And then they expanded from there as their um, fortunes grew. The gold money was what originally set up a lot of those early selectors and allowed them to buy the land they'd come up from Beechworth with. Um, so heavily settled by the um, Scottish immigrants in particular, because the first lot was Scottish, but a lot followed. <clears throat> and then mining happened in the surrounding valleys and we had a lot of mining. Gold mining and tin mining come through. The main street developed though with some um, brick made buildings and more traditional buildings and that came out of gold money um, again from the Thalgwa gold mines and um, and ones that were now coming into the area uh, for that. The drought in the early um, or mid 1800s impacted a lot up north and so yeah there were a lot coming from up north down here for the good cattle country and coming from the south looking for their own land after gold mining so it was a bit of a mixture um, with the farming and dairying was very big in the early years. Um, we had a big butter factory um, cooperative built out the road, which um, developed into Murray Goulburn in the end, uh, after a lot of changes of hands. But it was a, a very big part of this community very early on for the pioneers to get their butter factory away. The railway stopped at Kajiwal. They never quite finished the bit to Koryong. Everything was trucked from Kajiwal down to Newmarket sales and supplies from Melbourne up 